All right, so this question says that you're doing a total synthesis of this particular compound and it results in that particular structure. And so they're asking you, um, you know, to convert it. It's, it's an SN2-like reaction, so that means it's a concerted mechanism. And it's saying that um, the substitution reaction involves a very poor leaving group, and that poor leaving group is this oxygen right here. And even though that happens, that this reaction still occurs because you have a highly strained three-membered ring. This three-membered ring um, functionality we actually call epoxides. They're very reactive just because of the three-membered ring and that can alleviate the strain. So we're going to draw the mechanism. So that's what the question is asking you to do. And remember that these things are, because um, it's a three-membered ring, the structure has to be drawn with the same wedges or dashes. Should be, yes. Let me draw the six-membered ring first. Right, there's too small to be anything but either wedges or both dashes, which would make that methyl a dash. And then this group, they said it's drawn like this. So this would have to be our nucleophile. Notice that it's now attached to that position. And so it turns out that this oxygen is our leaving group. It's actually going to be leaving our um, electrophilic center. So this is partially positive right here. This is our leaving group, the oxygen, and our nucleophile is going to attack. So I'm going to erase the partial positive just for some space. But this is concerted since it's SN2. This comes here, attacks at that carbon, and then opens up that epoxide bond. And I'm going to draw a transition state just so we can see exactly what's happening. So our leaving group is going to leave. Our oxygen should be partially negative. Is going to be attacking at this position and opening that up, and that's how we get that product. So um, it's because it's an SN2-like reaction.